everyone, we're going to integrate this expression here using a technique substitution. We start out by letting u represent something in here. A lot of times it's the expression under a radical, something in the parentheses, maybe something up in the exponent. But if you look clearly, you'll find an expression that has, in terms of this binomial here, this power here is exactly one integer higher than that power right there. So we're going to let u equal x squared plus 1 in our first step. In the second step, we're going to differentiate both sides of this with respect to x. So I get du dx equals 2x. And I'm going to rewrite this in terms of du. So du equals 2x dx. In step 3, I'm going to isolate this x dx here. If there's any constant over here, I'm going to divide it on both sides. So I'm going to get du over 2 equals x dx. Divide that constant so that now I have this x dx here isolated so we can perform the substitution. I'm going to put a box around this, box around this, and everyone in step 4 now we're going to substitute. This will replace the x and the dx. This u will be substituted for the x squared plus 1. And if you're wondering how I can substitute for the x dx, of course so when this thing can be rewritten as 3 integral square root x squared plus 1 x dx. And this is just going to come over here and replace that. This u will replace that x squared plus 1. And now we have 3 integral square root u, and we have du over 2. And everyone, this d over 2, that's just 1 half of du. So I can multiply 1 half to this 3, and now I have 3 halves, the integral, square root u du. Now we're going to perform the integration. We can integrate this. Everything is with respect to u. This is u to the 1 half, everyone. So if I increase that power by 1, I get u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves. And everyone, when we divide 3 halves, that means we multiply the reciprocal, which would be multiplying the 2 thirds. We have 3 halves times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. Yep, these cancel out. And we have u to the 3 halves plus c. Plus c. In our last step, we're going to resubstitute. Go back to the beginning. What did we let u equal to? Oh, x squared plus 1. So everything is in terms of x. So now we have x squared plus 1 to the 3 halves plus c. This is our integral. We found the antiderivative of this expression. And we can check this. Here's our answer. How can we check this? Let's get the derivative of this. We get the derivative of this, we should come right back to that. The derivative would be, let's see, 3 halves decreases by 1. And then I perform chain rule. The derivative of this is 2x. And the 2 and the 2 cancel. And sure enough, everyone, we come right back to the beginning. I'm going to put that x over here. And I'll just leave it. But these would cancel, and everyone, notice we had the original expression right there. So that was just checking our work. Um, sometimes, this is called an indefinite integral. Sometimes you're going to find a definite integral, where you have some values right here. And I'm going to show you that right now. What if we had to perform this? The integral from, say, 0 to 3 of the original expression 3x times the square root of x squared plus 1. Well, we know that we've come up with this as our antiderivative, x squared plus 1, the 3 halves, and everyone, we can substitute the value 3 in here, we get 3 squared plus 1 to the 3 halves 
minus, I'll substitute a zero in here, zero squared plus one to the three halves, and when that's just one, three squared plus one is 10, so we get 10 to the three halves minus one. Everyone, that's just 10 and 3 halves. That's the square root of 10 cubed, which is also 10 times the square root of 10. We're now going to check this with our calculator. So go over to this TI 83 or 84. This is a TI 84. Go to Y equals button and I'll type in this expression right here. This 3x square root x squared plus 1. I'm going to hit graph. I'm going, going to go to the calc menu. It's above the trace button. And I'm going to go down to number 7. Aha! Integral. It performs a definite integral. The first question says lower limit. I'm going to punch in a 0 when the lower limit was a 0. I hit enter. Upper limit. Well, the upper limit was a 3. I type 3. I hit enter. The area under this curve from 0 to 3 is 30.622777. How can we check that? The 30.622777. Recall we got 10 to the 3 has minus 1. So I'm just going to hit quit. Perhaps these are the same. If they are, we did our work correctly. 10 to the 3 has minus 1. And there is that same value. So we did the problem correctly. One last thing, everyone. I want to show you another way to check this with the calculator. This is in the math menu. So I'm now going to go to the math button. And I'm going to go down to number 9. Function integrate. F-N-I-N-T. The first thing I have to do is type in the original expression at 3x square root x squared plus 1. Close the parentheses. I'm going to hit comma. I have to put the variable x. Comma. I'm going to put the lower limit and then the upper limit. The lower limit was 0. Comma, the upper limit was 3. And that's another way to check your work. And that's it.